Well, that being said, how do you deal with, uh, well, do you have like a, a personal relationship with somebody at IG? Because I know, like, so back in the day, I went to this thing called the AUC, um, Atlanta University Center. So you got Morales, Clark, Spellman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shade Room actually was people that went to Clark, believe it or not. And so it started over at Pascal's off of North Side Drive, right? That was like the first meeting. And so I, they were building it up. They were building up. It was having some success. They actually knew like some of the founding people. And I remember they went to LA to do something and they didn't know that they were like one flag or strike or something away yeah. from having their thing being deleted. Yeah. And it just so happened that they just happened to be in LA at the office and they were able to get that, that conversation. So that being said, moving forward, we see a lot of a lot of pages get deleted. You have backup mm -hmm. pages and all that. How do you deal with building up a page, putting all this money into it, elbow grease, sweat equity, time, whatever you want to call it, and then having it be secured? Yeah. How do you? You that's, know, that's, that's a really good question. I'm at the point in my career and what I do that mm -hmm. I have a connection for everything related to Instagram. You want anything related to Instagram done? I got a connection for it. So it's like. If my page was to get taken down, I can get it back. So for example, that AI page that I sold, right? Mm -hmm. We sold it for $110,000. And literally two months after we sold it, that page got taken down. It got taken down. And like it was, Damn. even though it has nothing to do with me, I was still able to pull some strings and get that account back. But okay. that account was down for like a month. Like they were not trying to get, it was one of the hardest bands. There's different types of Instagram bands, right? Mm -hmm. They'll ban you for a plethora of reasons. Um, and this band was, I think it was a, uh, it was something, it was a bad, it was a hard one. It was one of them ones that you cannot get back. Mm. I think it was copyright. Copyright is one of the hardest bands to get back from. Um, mm. But we was able to get it back, luckily. But to answer your question, as you start to get more into the space, you'll realize that you can build connections with these people that, that, that work at these places. And that's what I've done. So you can actually call somebody at Instagram. No, no, I'll call somebody no, no, I'm, at I'm, Instagram. But, but you have a relationship yeah, with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And if I don't have the direct relationship with somebody at Instagram, I have a direct relationship with somebody that knows somebody at Instagram. Mm -hmm. And how did that come about? Was that you reaching out, like uh, reverse engineering through LinkedIn, or, or they reach out to you, or how did you? Because it's yeah. hard. Like you could have millions of people on a platform, and those pages, YouTube and IG, still can't get in contact yeah, with nah, anybody. Yeah, one hundred percent. Believe it or yeah. not, a lot of big Instagram theme pages actually have connections. They have, like, for example, I was talking to Hollywood a lot, right? a person that's running the promo division for that, uh, the shout-out division for that. And she was telling me how their page got taken down before and how they, they, she had a direct rep or something like that, and she was able to recover it. Um, and that's why they're, they're strict on certain promos that they post in order to stop that from happening again. Mm -hmm. But to answer your point directly, um, as I start to talk to more and more people in this space, all these people that own these pages, I'm talking to people that own pages that make millions of dollars a year. They have millions mm -hmm. of followers. Um, I'm always one text message away to to get in whatever it is I need done. Okay. And so speaking on that, like who 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 surprised who surprised you that reached out for the sauce? Like who's somebody who DM'd you? He was like, what the? Like, wow. Uh, yeah, good question. Um, it was a few people. It got to a point where I just uh, I just stopped looking at it. But one person was Bobby Schmurter. Um, mm. Bobby Schmurter reached out to me. Who else reached out to me? It was somebody in the NBA. I can't remember his name right this second. Um, let me see if I actually come here to my request and I look at it from the top. Because I'll be honest with you, whenever like people like Bobby Schmurter and I'm like text me, I think I replied to Bobby Schmurter, but most big people that text me, I don't reply. Mm -hmm. um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Bobby Schmurter was one of them. Another person. I guess my team might have responded to him, but it was, mm. it, it was a few people. So the no reply, because people typically, when you say no reply, it makes me think. <laughs> Friends and family usually say when you start making money, you change, right? Yeah. So have you noticed a change in you or a change in people around you amidst your success? Nah, not at all. Nah, I'm, I'm still the same person I was before. Um, you don't answer. You don't answer texts from famous people, man. Nah, so I know nah, cuz I ain't getting nah, the, the reason I don't answer texts from famous people. If you have some of these people reaching out for you at mm -hmm. this level, what you realize is ninety percent of them are just all talk, mm. and it's just like it's just like a waste of time. Ninety percent of the time, when I respond to somebody that's famous, I don't know if it's coincidence. I don't know if they're too busy. I don't know if it's somebody from their team. 
But it's just all talk. They say, yo, I want the sauce. Yo, cuzzo, give me the game. Give me the sauce. And it's like the conversation goes nowhere. So it's like mm -hmm. I don't get happy when somebody famous texts me because I realize that 90% of the time it goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, I mean, somebody, can we respond? Absolutely. Will I respond? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of ten, they're not going to respond. So it's like, uh, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, All right.